Every summer or winter break, I go to somewhere crazy. Of course, because of the stupid corona pandemic, I was confined to my own country, which is Korea. So I went to Jeju Island, and here I am in the middle of its nature. Now, imagine this place covered in snow. Of course, this is an evergreen forest, but forget that part. And think about it, covered in snow. And what if our dear Brian from the hatchet wasn't rescued at the end of the summer in the end of the book, hatchet? What if he had to fight nature's greatest weapon, which is winter? Hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron, the book quester. Today, I have this awesome book. Brian's Winter by Gary Paulson himself, and well, let's get right on to it. This is about a boy named Brian who had, in the hatchet, survived in the wilderness for around two months with his hatchet, and as we all know, he was rescued at the end of summer. But what if that hadn't happened? Many readers apparently pestered Gary Paulson that Brian had to fight winter because that way, the story would feel much more complete. So Brian has to survive winter. At first, he ignores the signs. The signs of the cold breeze and of the snow. But he starts to realize that he needs some warm clothes. So using rabbit hides, he makes some warm clothes. Then, she got attacked by a bear. Which means that he thought he could, she should make a sort of sort of defensive weapon, which is a war bow. His bow, Brian's bow, is very light and it can barely kill a rabbit, but to harm a bear, hmm, he needs something a little bit stronger. So he makes his war bow and he makes a lance, a very hard lance tipped with a stone, well, spear, and he's ready for battle. But the bear never visits him again. But she meets a moose, and he manages to kill the moose with the spear, and he has meat for days. And then, at the end of the book, he hears gunshots. He hears gunshots, well, pretty much everywhere. So he went to investigate, and he finds a sort of a little clearing with some hunters and trackers. Apparently, they had they had come for winter to hunt some moose and deer, and it's actually pretty good. So, well, that happens, and Brian meets the hunter, and she, with his family, thought that Brian was a trapper, and he didn't think that Brian was, well, stuck in the Canadian wilderness for nearly 3-4 months. So he manages to contact the modern world, and he manages to escape from the deadly winter. Of course, there are some funny details that I have not mentioned. For example, a skunk, a literal skunk, decided to move in with Brian. He had lots of meat, and he fed the skunk, and the skunk became his pet. And when the bear came, well, the skunk basically squirted the bear, and, well, he kind of grew to like his little furry, black, and smelly pet. And, well, yeah, it is a great book, but it, there isn't like a whole lot of things that I can tell you because it is less than a hundred pages, I believe. So it's not that long, I would say. I mean, that's a little more than hundred pages. But you know, it is a great book. It is what it is. So you should definitely try to read it, even if you have to borrow it from your local library. And like always, your book quester, Aaron, the book quester. As I've just said, it is a page turner, a good old survival story from good old Brian. Hatchet. 